Last week, uh, some things uh, just to uh, uh, fill you all in on, on what, what the plan is moving, moving forward. Uh, we will uh, we started game prepping for Maryland uh, yesterday. Uh, we all know how important the Maryland game is. Every game is important. This one uh, uh, we know is pretty important. We've, we've uh, I've been fortunate to go against them going on my fifth year now. Uh, so know what this game means to our team and our school and, and our fan base. Same thing for them. Uh, fortunately for us, we get two weeks to, <coughs> to, to deal with it, where they only get one week to deal with it. But uh, such as the schedule, it's gonna, we're going to be on the flip side of that uh, two weeks from now. And Oklahoma has a game, uh, a bye week when, when we're playing Maryland. So it, it all evens out in the end. Uh, but uh, we, we started game prepping for them yesterday, and, and we'll uh, focus on those guys pretty exclusively here Tuesday, today, and tomorrow uh, to get a, get a week ahead. Um, you know, Thursday we'll have a big team lift and, and uh, get after them a good bit in the weight room and, and condition them a good bit. And then Friday and Saturday we'll give them uh, two days off to uh, just be normal. You know, you don't have too many opportunities to be able to do that when you're when you're in the weekly grind of of, of uh, game week. So we, we have an opportunity to be able to do it. This is really a, <clears throat> our only traditional bye week. The, the next one is is sandwiched in with the Thursday game at TCU. So it, it's going to be a little bit different structure with, with when it comes to that week. Uh, so let them get away, and, and our coaches need to get out on the road and recruit. We'll send, we'll send coaches all over the country. There's uh, ten of us going out. Myself and, and the other nine will be out and about, um, seeing as many games as we possibly can on Thursday and Friday, and seeing as many coaches as we can on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> we'll be back to work on Sunday. We'll be back in here Sunday for a normal Sunday and, and game week after that. So. Um, yes, we've watched Maryland and we, we've started focusing on them a little bit, but with that said, you know, there's, there's no game uh, here this week. So uh, we'll focus on ourselves and, 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 and getting healthy. Ideally, I'd like about four games prior to a bye week. Um, but uh, again, there's nothing we can do about the schedule. So uh, we should be in a good place when we go play uh, Maryland, when they come play here uh, a week from this Saturday. That, that's kind of where we're at. I, I'd open it up for some questions if y'all have any. Dan, yeah, two games into this, good or bad, what do you know that you didn't know? Mm -hmm. I think you, you, you will constantly keep figuring out things about your team. But it, it's not just week one to week two. It's, uh, you know, you're going to find out <coughs> some, some things about how guys develop in week 10 and week 11 probably as well. So. Um, you know, I, I'm happy with where we're at. We we, we know we're uh, we're we're, we're going to be pretty good defensively. A lot's been made of not living up to the expectations that we put upon ourselves uh, defensively, and, and that's what I told the team. Uh, I'm not I'm not disappointed in our defense whatsoever. I'm just reminding them that that they're the ones that set the bar pretty high, and so that, that's that's what that's how we need to play. That's how we need to. Prepare. That's how we need to uh, uh, play defensively. Is 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 good, better than we played, based on the fact that we've done it before, based on the fact that 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 we as coaches and we as players have set the bar pretty high. So, offensively, we just need to keep getting better. And I do think we made improvement this past week. I think we did in, in the, the the run game. And I think we did in the pass game. So, uh, we're still doing some things right. We did a much better job. Of, of, of finishing uh, on offense. You know, our third down was, was a lot higher. Our, our red zone uh, was perfect. Uh, so we did a much better job of finishing and we continued to do a good job of taking the ball. Special teams, <coughs> happy with where we're at there. Our, our coverage units have been good. Uh, our specialists have been outstanding with, with Nick and with Josh, you know, doing the job that they did. Um, you know, the, the, the return aspect of it, we know needs to continue to evolve and get better, but I think we're all happy with where we're at at that, that from that point of view as well. I want to make uh, reference to Nick Meadows <coughs> going in there and, and 
uh, being about as nervous of a kid as I've seen in quite some time on, in pregame, getting out there, having his opportunity to play for the first time, and with with uh, De Palma uh, having some back issues at this point, he went out there and played well. So, uh, same thing with Al Benton. You know, just that that that's that's two examples of of what needs to exist if you want to win a lot of games. As the season goes on, you're going to have guys go down. If you get guys go in and are the players of the game for their respective units with first-time starts, then you're, 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 in good, you're in good shape. When you're off and the other team's playing, is your biggest concern timing and being sharp when they're playing and you're off? Yeah, probably so. I mean, they're, they're, if, if there is a concern, you know, but we've played so much ball for the last two months. You know, I don't, I don't think, we, we, and what we'll do to combat that is, is we'll practice today and tomorrow, just like we would any normal game week, you know, and then you start backing off anyway. Uh, so we're gonna back off. Uh, we will practice Sunday where we normally wouldn't practice Sunday. So we'll come back in Sunday and, and, and do some full speed stuff Sunday evening um, to make sure that we're not, uh, you know, uh, Timing's not off at all. But yeah, that, that, that's a little bit of a concern anytime you take two or three days off. Um, but there, there's a lot of positives that go along with it as well. Dana, you, know, you talked about Sheldon Gibson kind of needing to not try to be the best in the country, be the best that he could be. Two tough times in the first two weeks. Um, how has his development matched up with your expectations, and what do you think is the next step for him? <clears throat> just, just consistency. You know, he, he's. Uh, I was excited to see the play that he made because that's something that I haven't really seen out of him. I haven't seen him catch rough, you know, hard balls. To, to, you know, that the one he scored on was down at his knees. And then on a post route, he had to come back and catch one behind him. So I was excited to see him make uh, what, what, what appears to be a non-routine catch for him. You know, him catching the ball over his shoulder is pretty routine. Uh, he still fights it coming back to it, which we saw what happened in the, in the end zone on that one play where he should have had a touchdown there. Uh, he, he just needs to continue to relax and continue to gain comfort and confidence in his ability to be able to make the routine play. Um, so he, he's, he's on par with what I want to do. When you went back and watched the defensive film, talked about them not living up to their expectations. Was it mainly execution or effort? <clears throat> Uh, well, they go hand in hand. You know, if, you, if you're not giving maximum effort, uh, you know, then you're you're not going to execute the way that you, you we need to execute. You know, the, the, I, I stood here and, was, and talked about how well we tackled two weeks ago, uh, and then we get, turn around and we miss twice as many tackles this next week. That that's a that's a mindset. Uh, you know, being locked in. <clears throat> and, and playing with effort, uh, there's a direct correlation in, in how many missed tackles you have. So we we're, were just a little sluggish for whatever reason. I don't know. You know, a little bit too comfortable, uh, just a little bit slow and a little bit sluggish. You know, those guys would be the first to admit that. <clears throat> it, it went hand in hand to what the entire day was. You know, compared to what. It was the previous week. I don't care what the conditions are. I don't care what time of the day it is, uh, whether it's here, whether it's on the road. It doesn't matter. You got to be able to have enough mental toughness to be able to play the same way every week. It might be too early uh, into your prep. Um, you, did you mention you just started it today? Or, mm -hmm. But uh, Maryland's going to play yesterday. I actually worked yesterday. Okay. We, we watched. You know, we watched a bunch of it yesterday. Um, but they're going to start the kid, Maryland's going to start Caleb Rowe, quarterback over the Hills kid. Uh, does that change anything um, between those two guys? Uh, I, I don't know as much as Gibby does at, at this point. I haven't studied it enough uh, to know or talk with him about it. Um, where normally I, I obviously would have done that. But, uh, you know, everything I've watched was more special teams and, and, and defensively with what they're doing. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I doubt it. <clears throat> and, and talking uh, with, with with Tony as far as what um, Hills did as opposed to Brown from the week the year before, it was a very similar offense. Uh, 
not quite as explosive because two of their guys are in the NFL, the two receivers that they had that we've had fits with over the last three years uh, are, are in the NFL. Um, it would be interesting to see this, this Saturday. One benefit that we have that they don't have is, is we can turn the TV on Saturday at noon and uh, watch the game against South Florida. To, to see where they're headed with it, so I, I don't know. That, that you know, Sunday will come in, <clears throat> we'll, we'll break down that game exclusively, to, just like we do each and every week. What what the pro, the, the progress is from week one to t week two, and then from week two to week three, we'll be able to figure that out. How much can they really change in a week's time? They can't, and they won't with the type of quarterbacks that they have. Yeah. They're, 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 they may change a little bit. Uh, I doubt they're able to change a whole lot. I don't know why they'd change either. Coach Loxley's been there for what four years now, so I, I'm, I'm sure they they got the same plan now that they have. Did you mention special teams to face one of the best <clears throat> returners in the country? It's on the floor. I, I mean, is your coverage unit where you want it to be? Are they ready for the test? Yeah, and <clears throat> I'm 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 excited to watch it because we're going to face some pretty good returners throughout the course of the year. Um, you know, and, and <clears throat> he got us once last year. Uh, I think he got us twice. I can't remember, but uh, he, he's dang good now. Uh, he'll take some chances. But we need, we need, uh, it, we, we need to rise to the occasion. <clears throat> I don't think we're just going to tell Nick to kick it out of bounds 10 yards downfield. You know, and we may... We may have to go for it a few more times or, or whatever, but uh, I, I think we've covered pretty good. And, uh, like I said, we faced some NFL caliber return guys in the past, and we need to continue to be able to deal with that it's part of the game. So I'm happy with our kickoff team right now. I mean, we, we you know, shoot, they haven't got it past the 25 this year. Uh, we're going to continue to get more speed <clears throat> on that field. You know, we need to get guys like. Muldrow and, and um, uh, Rasul, you know, Rasul's ready to go now. And uh, Gary Jennings is a guy that, that that's coming along. And, and um, you know, Marvin Gross has done, has done good. Um, uh, we'll probably get Thunder Burke out there. We got some guys that we can put on there to get more speed on the field, you know, that have been covering kicks and, and we probably need to do that maybe a little bit more with the pun aspect of it to get more speed on it. But I, I'm happy with where it's at. I'm happy with the, the ball placement. We got a we got a, we got a, we got a true task ahead of us, and you know it, it'll be fun to watch that. See how we do. Are you happy with the reads shells making, or is that an area that needs to? He needs to. He, he's he's uh, he's trying. You know he's trying, and I think I I, <laughs> I think right now he's trying too hard. You know, and, and uh, he, he's not, um, he, he doesn't, he doesn't, he needs the ball more because the more he gets it, the more in rhythm he gets and the stronger he gets. Uh, so he, he's, he needs to, he needs to perform a little better. And he knows that. And, you know, we're going to get him the ball as much as we can. And talking about a guy that was close to a thousand yard guy last year. So he, he's, uh, He's, he's trying hard. He wants to be uh, good. He, he just probably trying a little bit too hard. You know, he's, he's second guessing himself a little bit, but you can't do that in running back. You got to hit it. After Saturday's game, Scott, we were talking about the seven read. Uh, you know, and you were saying you guys kind of impl uh, implemented it uh, ahead of the Iowa State game. Um, why don't you, I guess in the offseason, how big of a focus was it? Was it something? Better if you don't keep working on that, you get you get uh, exposed pretty quick. <clears throat> you know, and there's been a we've lost yards on a couple of them. We haven't had a, a tremendous amount of, of negative plays offensively. Handful of them have been on pulling it when we shouldn't pull it, and and uh, handing it when we should have kept it. <clears throat> you know, so that that that's it, that's something you got to work on every day. And we made the decision to, to, to do it in the off season. We've worked it hard, and we will continue to work it to where we're efficient with it. Uh, you know, aside from its speed, what uh, you know, what, uh, you know, I guess if you need to be, you need a certain kind of quarterback to be uh, to uh, you know get from those kind of plays. You know, aside from scouting speed, what kind of makes it you know such a big candidate? 
hand hand strength, uh, you know, because there's there's a handoff aspect to it where that ball is either in there or it's not in there. The tough the ball ends up on the ground a lot if you don't work it. So you know, we we work it a good bit, <clears throat> making good decisions on what the edge looks like. Uh, some of it's on me on on what what aspect of the play call that I actually call. You know, some of them are are, are naked. Uh, uh, keeps around the edge. Some of them we have blockers out there for them. So you know, there's a, 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 a scheme aspect to it that I got to continue to do a better job with, and then they got to do a better job on when they do, when they don't. And then it's just the day-to-day -day, uh, aspect of, of working it, and you know when they keep it in there and when they pull it out of there. So it's been fun. It's been fun for me to learn a lot about it. And, and uh, work it, and it, it's become pretty valuable. It, it's, help, it's helping our backside, I know that. Dana, I know you were thrilled with the way the kill short played. Um, tell me, is he kind of like a security blanket for Skylar Howard, especially the way their chemistry looked on Saturday? Yeah, that, that, that's uh, some of the timing that I've been talking about uh, with Skylar and the new guys, the whiteouts and the new guys with, with Gary and Karan and Javon and and Shelton on the outside, it doesn't really exist on the inside. The disconnect. <clears throat> because they've been together here for, I guess, three semesters. And, you know, Jordan Thompson's in that same boat. Uh, Dekeel's probably playing a little bit better. He's a little bit bigger target uh, right now. Um, but uh, he, he, he's playing well. You know, he, he, he needs to get more yards after the catch. Uh, you know, he, there are a lot of times he catches it and he falls down. And so we've been working on him not falling down and running uh, to get more yards after the catch. But uh, he, you know, his his routes are good. He's got great ball skills. Uh, he, he's he's his, his blocking ability is really good. He made a lot of blocks on the perimeter. You know, for the run game and the pass game to be able to get yards. So happy with what he's playing right now.